On Earth, it's a long way from Cape Canaveral to Georgian Bay, but Canada's first woman in space has traveled that distance in a matter of seconds. Dr. Roberta Bondar was part of the six-member crew on the space shuttle Discovery during mission STS-42 last January. Discovery circled the Earth for eight days, traveling eight times the speed of sound, or an orbit every 90 minutes. Bondar says seeing planet Earth from the vantage point of space was a deeply moving experience. It's a very emotional experience, and I wanted it to be that way because I felt that was something that uh, that was really going to be different about the flight for me. It wasn't just a science; it was to be able to look at our planet, and look at our country. Bondar is on lecture tour. She was in Owen Sound as a courtesy to a former professor who taught her during her undergraduate years at the University of Guelph. Bondar takes very seriously her position as a role model for young people. She describes herself as an adventurer, earth watcher, scientist, and astronaut. During her lectures, Bondar encourages young people to stay with math and sciences, but she says even more important is to keep up a love of learning. I think it's important to show people that being curious and being enthusiastic really are two, two virtues which they shouldn't lose, regardless of whether they pursue science or they go to arts, but just not to lose that and to stay in school. Bondar resigned from the Canadian Space Agency last month because it was unlikely she'd get another chance to fly. She expects to return to scientific research early next year. Bondar says her experiments in space resulted in as many new questions as answers, Tackling those questions will be the focus of her research work in the future.